Hello there people of the internet, my name is Devour. Today I'm going to be doing another tutorial video. Today's tutorial video is going to be kind of sick. I really enjoy this stuff. I'm very new to the whole Steam profile uh, enhancing, if you want to say. I didn't even know it existed until very recently, but I'm really into it now. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get your backgrounds to align with your artwork showcases and your workshop showcases. And the best part about this tutorial is you don't even need any kind of editing software to do this. You don't even need to use Photoshop. You, you don't need anything. So some things to note before we start. You have to be at least level 10 in your Steam profile to do this. You have to have Chrome or Firefox as a browser. Um, and these images are not going to be animated like this. This is basically, if you do want to go all out like this profile here, this is Oddball, a person who developed the site that we're going to be using. Um, if you want to do all this animation stuff, this is like a start video. This is how you're going to get your initial background and then all your animating stuff is up to you because I, I can't do that stuff myself. So. Uh, if you want to go out, out like this, uh, be my guest, but this is not the video. I'm just going to show you guys how to get the initial background. Another thing to note, uh, you need to have a background already. You can buy one from the Steam Market, you could trade with somebody, but you have to have a good background already in your inventory. So, a couple things I want to note. First of all, you're going to want a good background. The background that I'm going to be using for this tutorial is this one here. Uh, you can see it, there is no black anywhere, it is all picture. Uh, an example of a bad background will be this one. As you can tell, there's a lot of black space, and there's a lot of empty space here. This would be kind of pointless if you want to put an artwork showcase here, because it would just be showing a black screen. Um, so just don't do that. Do this, you know, picture throughout the whole thing, or like my actual one. Uh, pictures of the whole thing, no black space, no empty void space. So, let's get right into it. So I'm going to split this video up into two parts. The first part is actually going to be using the website to get this cropped background. And the second part is actually going to be um, putting it into Steam and uploading them as long images and workshop images and stuff like that. So, let's start part one. If you're going to skip to part two, I'll probably put a link someplace on the screen or... Uh, a, a timestamp or something just to move to part two. If it's not on the video, check the description. I'll put it someplace probably. So anyways, let's get started with part one, shall we? Okay, so part one of this tutorial. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is you're going to want to go down to the description below and click on the very first link, which is gonna be steam.design. And what this beautiful website is, is it's basically just looks like a normal steam profile when you first get into it and what you're going to do is you're going to log into your steam profile up here in the corner i promise it's nothing bad use your authentication app and do all that stuff if you have to and then what will happen is you'll come back here and you will see a bunch of all of your backgrounds that are in currently in your inventory if this doesn't show up make sure you click this little arrow at the top so what you're going to do is you're going to click on either click on the image that you want uh, to use as your background or you can even go through random backgrounds and then use this to actually buy the background itself. But also you can, if you're looking through a background to the store, you can take the link here and you can copy it and put it into here. Um, and it will pretty much do the same thing and it will automatically make this your background. So once you do that, you're going to, there's a lot of stuff that you can do. Uh, the first thing you can do is you can drag the bottom of this and you can resize this. So resize this how you want. And you can also go up to here to customize cropping and you can enable all this stuff. Now note, if you're gonna enable workshop showcase or screenshot showcase or both, uh, every, you have to be at least level 20 to get one and level 30 to get both of them. So every 10 levels you get a new showcase. So if you want, let's say I just want the workshop and the artwork, I have to be level 20 because I have to have two showcases. So I'm just gonna do the artwork uh, and the workshop. So I'm going to first crop this how I want. You obviously don't want this to be black because what would be the point? Um, or you could make it black and just completely change it if you really want to. It won't even give you a 
image if it's below the picture. So let's say I want it here. So what you're going to do, it also changes your profile picture if you can't tell, is you're going to, once you get it to the way you want it to be, you're going to download the zip and it will do a quick little zip download and it will download that to your download section, obviously. Go to your downloads and it is this one. So first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to uh, extract all uh, extract it anywhere you want. I'm just going to put it on the desktop. Um, like that. And then, now, that's the end of step one. That's, it's that simple. Uh, now I guess I'm going to start step two. So, cut to that. Okay, so this is part two of this tutorial. So, the first thing you're going to want to do to upload these images is, this is going to be for, uh, the art upload first and then I'll do the workshop afterwards so we're gonna start with the arts so the first thing we're going to want to do is go to the first link in the description it'll probably be under part two like artwork showcase or something like that um, and it is a Chrome extension so this is the easiest way to upload your art as long images so that they don't break and look stupid on your steam profile uh, the reason I'm doing this through a Chrome extension is because the only other way around this is to type a bunch of things into the console and copy and paste things and it's just, it's a lot more work and this is a lot easier and really simple. You just add this to Chrome, which I already have it added, and it will do everything for you. So it's called steam.designbuttons, which is pretty much, it's the same website as we just used to crop the images. And once you get that, you're going to go to the second link below which is an upload your artwork link. It is the Steam community. Make sure you're logged into Steam and make sure this isn't a browser. You cannot do this uh, in your actual Steam thing, uh, in your Steam application. You have to do this on a browser, either Chrome or Firefox. Make sure it's probably Chrome because that's where the, uh, that's where the Chrome extension is. Okay, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is you're going to want to choose your file, go to downloads, and then choose the one that you want to do. So the first one will be artwork middle. So I will take artwork middle and I will upload it. And then I will give it a title. And this, I'm just going to name this art. art. That's not how you spell art. No, I'm not going to name it art. I'm going to name it car uh, tutorial, all one word. And make sure you click upload a long image. So. If you don't have the Chrome extension, this button right here, this upload along image button will not be here. And you gotta make sure that it is there. And if it's not there, you have a problem. So click on this. I click it a few times because there's really no assurance that you actually click the button. So I click it a few times. Uh, description doesn't really matter. I certified that I created this artwork. And you hit save and continue. Give it a second and it will upload. So there, I uploaded a long image. Now you do the same thing for the other image, the little short one. And pretty much the exact same thing. Uh, I'm going to do that really quick. You can even just go back and do it like this. I'm going to do that, and I'm going to name it Car Tutorial 2. How about that? Upload a long image. I'm just going to click it again, just in case. And I'm going to certify, and I'm done. So now both of my artwork is here. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my profile. And obviously I have have it all set up for my own stuff, so I'm probably gonna screw all this up, but I'll, I'll fix it. Um, I'm going to edit my profile. And the first thing you're going to want to do is you're gonna to want to choose your profile picture and change it to that and upload it. That one's pretty much the easiest one to do. And then change your background to the one that you want. So mine is here change to that and I'm just going to save changes before I do anything else and then I'm going to go to my artwork showcase so when you first get in here these will just be like like this uh, so again you have to be level 10 to get one level 20 to get two of them and level 30 to get all three um, so the first one will be my artwork showcase so it will be if I can actually I thought it would be alphabetical, it is not here. So, 
Uh, I have mine already selected, but the first thing you do is, you, the first one on this side is you select your image. Now, note that these will pop up as black lines, and it's supposed to do that. Um, what I've learned is that the most recent one that you've added is on the left, so this one should be my larger image. Yes, it is. And then this one will be on the left. They're supposed to be black images, it's just a weird glitch because technically you're not supposed to be uploading images long like this, so it glitches out the system. So hit save changes, and then return to profile, and there we go. Now note that this is blue and it's not supposed to be, it's because I have enhanced steam. But uh, yeah, it will look like this. So there's that. Now next will be the showcase of the uh the workshop now the workshop is a little bit trickier but not much trickier it's pretty much the same thing all right so now this is the last step this is for the workshop art the workshop showcase so this is a little bit trickier okay so what we're going to do is the first step go to the link in the description uh the second link under the uh the workshop showcase section and I'm going to first go right click make sure you're in Chrome uh, Chrome is probably the best way to do this uh, if you use Firefox you have to go into the console and type in enable pasting I think it is and then you can do this but with Chrome you just simply do it and it's easy so you right click anywhere just not on a button and go to inspect uh, and then this will pop up. So what you're going to be doing is you're going to go down here, click on the little console, make sure it's not on what's new or whatever. And then you're going to go to the thing that I put in the description, right under the link for this upload your artwork thing. And you're going to copy it. And you're going to paste it in here. Just hit enter. And then exit out of this. Or you don't really have to, because if you're going to upload all four, you have to do this every single time. You have to paste that in. So do that, and then upload your file. So I'm going to start with the left. It doesn't really matter, because in the end, you're going to place them yourself. So it doesn't matter what order they're in. And I'm just going to name this as one. Don't click this at all. Uh, description is nothing. It doesn't matter. Make sure it's on public. Uh, I certify I created this artwork and save and continue. And then what it should do is it should do this and put you into the workshop. If it puts it into your artwork, you did something wrong. So do this and do this with all four. So I'm going to do this with all four really quick. So control V. Um, I'm going to do left. And so middle left, I'm name is two. And I'm just going to do this really quick. Uh, when it says additional work required to complete this item, just don't just ignore it. It just doesn't. It doesn't matter. Um, three. This is. Oh wait, don't. You gotta do this first. And V. I got ahead of myself. Make sure you have that in before you upload the image. All right. Uh, save and continue. And then I'm gonna go back and do it again. Um, four. And this is just going to be the right one. And save and continue. So, I just numbered them so I know what order they're in later. So now what we're going to do is you can do this in either the browser or in your Steam application. Just go to your profile, go to edit profile. Go down here and hit... Uh, your workshop showcase don't do workshop showcase do your workshop showcase see and then this will pop up and there won't be anything on yours and i'm going to start with one and then i'm going to do two and then three and then four and you can get rid of this and then hit save changes and then go back to your profile and there you have it everything should be pretty much lined up it might not be 
100% perfect. This website is not 100% perfect. Like see here, it's a little bit screwed up, but it's not terrible. Um, it actually is quite lined up here though. That's strange actually. Like it's lined, it looks like it's lined up here, but not here. But this is basically a starting point for you to do whatever you please. It's your profile. Do what you want. If you don't like the way this looks, then fiddle with it a little bit more. Um, and you can just do this as many times as you want. So, I guess that's the end of the tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to like, subscribe if you did. Um, I know I sure did. I really like this kind of stuff. So, anyways guys, that's gonna be it. And peace.